Michael and Sophia, hello, good morning. Good morning, Noah, how are you? Good morning, Noah. I'm doing fantastic. It's so great to be here with you guys. By the way, we're on location, on remote. We're in Los Angeles, even though we're called iHollywood TV. We're normally based in Atlanta, but I'm here with you guys, and we have a green screen, and we're on a Christmas tree background. Because <laughs> oh we're coming to you from our hotel room, if, if anyone doesn't know. Oh, my God. Oh, COVID. Oh, Omicron. How dare you do this to us? No. <laughs> Uh, so now we're going to talk about something important and just special, especially around the holidays. UNICEF, Sophia, you are an ambassador. You've been an ambassador with them since October 2020. Michael, you're the president and CEO of UNICEF USA. Sophia, I want to start off with you. First off, you looked stunning in that oh. vintage gown you wore oh, while attending you. the UNICEF. Yes, the 75th anniversary celebration. I just wanted to say, oh my gosh, she looks fantastic, fabulous, Thank giving you. us all the vibes right there. So. <laughs> Thank so, you. So it was a bit I, of an ode to Audrey. Uh, yes, to Audrey Hepburn. Oh my gosh, such a legend. And, yes, and I so wish she was still here with us. Well. Yeah. Yeah, yes, she was. She absolutely was. So, Sophia, how much does this organization mean to you personally? This is the most important role of my life, and it is the greatest honor. My mom began speaking to me about UNICEF when I was a young girl and used the example of Audrey. and raised me to believe that the most important thing that I can do with my voice is to give back and to lift up the voices of those who are silenced. And so to be able to do that and to do whatever I can to lift up the voice of UNICEF and the children that they serve is, is truly the most important thing that I can do. Mm -hmm. Now, Michael, UNICEF is currently in its 75th anniversary, as I mentioned just a little while ago. How much improvement have you seen with this organization in its 75 years of running? Well, I mean, you can look at uh, at the scale and scope of our work over 75 years. You know, we're now present in 190 countries and territories, serving millions and millions of children every year uh, in, in in health and education and child protection services and refugees and migrants. And I mean, the scale and scope is amazing, really. Uh, so that's that's part of uh, our, our legacy, I think, after 75 years. But we're really in a moment now that is uh, as big a crisis for children around the world as we have ever seen. There are more kids displaced from their homes from conflict. Uh, there are more children out of school because of COVID. So this is a moment we really need to all rally around and not just rest on our laurels of 75 years, but recognize the challenge we have in front of us. Absolutely. Now, Sophia, UNICEF, it helps provide necessities to children, saving children's lives, and also to defend their rights. So what have you learned from taking on this role as an ambassador? I mean, I took on this role as ambassador, as Michael said, in one of the greatest crises in history. And um, if I've learned anything is that UNICEF's support in UNICEF's work not only changes lives, but it saves them, especially now more than ever as they've distributed almost one billion vaccines by the end of this year. And it's just that it's more critical than ever to give, if we have anything to give, it is to give, and for all of us to come together with that one mission in mind. And, you know, education has always been of utmost importance to me, but now more than ever, as Michael said, there are so many children whose education has been halted. We have to work with UNICEF on the ground to advocate so that the education of children around the world continues, so that these voices are are lifted and given a bright future. So Michael, as we're in the holiday season, share with us the importance of why we should help give back to others this holiday and not just want to receive the gifts on Christmas Day, but you know, help others, help those kids that need our help more than we do. Yeah, you know, we live in the most charitable country in the world, and this is a time when there's a great outpouring uh, from people, even as they're giving uh, uh, or getting, uh, to be able to give as well, and not just to their families, but to their communities and to the needs around the world. And we see that every year. So we're just really grateful for all of the support that we always get. But I just want to say again, this is that we're in a we're in a in a crisis moment for children around the world. This is the moment to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, to give a little bit more, to help us, uh, to help support our work at an even greater level uh, because the needs of kids are huge. Now, Michael, where can our audience go if they're watching this morning and saying, you know what, I want to help take part in UNICEF USA, I want to help those kids in need, where can they go for more information? Yeah, please go to our website, unicefusa.org. You'll find information there about the work that we're doing. You'll find stories of success. You'll find information about the challenges we're facing. And you'll see a big red donate button. And we'd love for people to click that and really help support our work. 
Yes, absolutely. Now, Sophia, I've been a longtime fan of yours, my friend. So oh, when I was going to get to speak with you this morning, I was like, what? The Sophia Carson. <laughs> Hold on, wait now. I got to go to the Google and make sure this is the Sophia Carson <laughs> I'm thinking of. Okay. So, Sophia, how have you been through this whole pandemic? And, and also, what is new? What's coming up for you that we can help promote here on our show this morning? I have been uh, very blessed that me and my family have been healthy and we've been working throughout the pandemic, which we know oh, is a good. blessing. And um, I um, have been working quite a lot on a, quite a few exciting projects. Of course, the most important thing is my work with UNICEF, which comes first and foremost as we yes. wrap the year and celebrate 75 years. I also just finished producing my first film with Netflix that I was able to star in and also write the music for. It's called Purple Hearts and it comes out next year, which was an incredibly fulfilling journey. And I've also been writing a lot of music and I just announced last week that my next single and the next chapter of my story, so to speak, comes out January 14th. And it is a song called Loud, which I'm very excited to, to share with the world soon. Look at there. Oh, you're doing such fabulous things, my friend. Thank you. Michael Nine Heist and Sophia Carson, thank you so much for speaking with us about such an important cause, the UNICEF USA. Everyone, be sure to go help, go donate this holiday season. Give a little bit this holiday as they definitely so graciously need it. Sophia, Michael, you take care. You have a great and happy holiday. and Merry Christmas to the both of you. You too, Noah. Thank you so much. Thanks, Noah. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>